But it also means that, that, that means that, but I can, because there, because of that, I don't need to change, I don't need to to do anything. I just need to change, on, I just need to change ownership on the input devices to underscore XML. But then anybody running an X server can, talk, can, can become the process ID, the UID of the X server. They don't get to trace any other answer. But they don't get to know that they don't get and they don't get to do that because they don't get to write as the S U I D application on the They can't write and that's because it requires root to do some of these things, you can't put an app a normal user can't put that kind of application on the disk. You can't say it's that you already root by yourself. You can't you I can't, as a normal user, set the S U I D bit on bin L S. It won't work. Which means that because some of these things require root privileges already, I'm missing something here. I think I get it. You're trying. You're you're saying that any but any user can run can become a UID of the X server and running an arbitrary program. But but it's not running an arbitrary program. How Wait, how are you saying? What, what stack you overflow mean? attack in the X server execute bin ls? Connected to my display connection. Again, those are how actual attacks happen. This is not We've how done a few of those in the last year. Right. That, was, I mean, that wasn't our fault, but yeah. No. That wasn't really the kernel's fault. Yes. Arguably, some of both. But that, we fixed it in the kernel. Certification is on the model, not the realization. Dropping yeah. privileges. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you there. Dropping, we can put together security theater. That's may be useful for dropping privileges. Dropping privileges gives me to the point where I can't certify I guess, by a server. And it is an actual advantage because now the attacker has to not only find an exploit to get code, injectable code into the server, they also have to regain root. They don't have to regain root. Our, our goal here is to prevent people from, um, in a multi user environment, from capturing uh, input events from another user. That's our goal. That's the whole goal. As far as I know, that's the discussion about why X isn't running not this route on Fedora today is because of the input capture problem. It actually runs as GDN, okay? but there's that's cheap. Yeah. I set the capability of X and trip the SRD. Okay. Um, so we have that and we have the kill parent process. Kill parent process is fine. Yeah. It, it just doesn't have the single business. Yeah, yeah. That's still hard, and you still have to, you have to, you have to figure out where to put the user that really good uh, implements. I don't think there are any other resources, though. I don't think so. I mean, uh, we, uh, we touch me, the backlog device. I'm sorry? We touch the backlog device and so on. Yeah, can, can, we we can we please just put the backlight controls on the DRM device or God and send them? Because that's where they go. They're out Matthew. I've tried their output properties. That's where they go. No Matthew. I've It works in your group. You should be able to hold a gun to his head. We used to share an apartment. Yes, I know this. I've tried I've had this conversation. Um CISFS files, actually CISFS in general, if you're not using KMS, you need to be able to get Read, you need to be able to map the PCFRs. If you're not using KMS, there's no privilege. Yeah. Yeah, you can't map out of privilege. Then I, I have to support basic. Yes. So some, you're so going to have to have the ability to run the X server set to the need for drivers that are not. That means having two copies of that on the disk and telling that, and telling XOR which one I need. And well, telling GDM which one I need. You need a wrapper that is set to the need that, that does the right thing. That's a very small amount of security. I can't know. I can't know ahead of time. You only have to watch the excerpt, and the excerpt will tell you. I'm sorry, I need to be set right now. I need you to make yourself set here, and you can go again. Yeah. We don't have to go to that, but we get it. Gross. Yeah. I don't see how you can be not privileged and not hit without KMS, though. I only get a Visa KMS device. I need. Well, it's across my mind. Yeah. Um, That's but what Windows has. 
call it three effects, like any any of the non-KMS drivers. I can do it if I can end map or open. This is best resource knowledge. That's it. And possibly dev port. Yeah. That's not it. Yeah. What possible security problems? <laughs> <laughs> no, dev port is dev port now. That port, you have the prop be potential to get the kernel to reject something. Like I can say, no, you're not allowed to touch the PCI config space. I yeah. don't want to. Um, the sysfs yeah, yeah, yeah. resource file, you are then trusting it not to initiate key main or system memory, but you were doing that anyway. And you're, that's, I mean, that's still part of the audit surface for KMS drivers. It's the DRF kernel driver. Sure. That's still part of my thing. So yes. Part of the audit but much reduced amount of code. Compared to the episode. Okay. So, I mean, I can't. It doesn't require a whole lot of work to do this for non KMS. It just requires these additional resource files. Of course, if the kernel knows enough about your graphics device to know what ports you do and don't want to touch and what resources you do and don't want to touch, it sounds like you're partway to a KMS driver already. No, the kernel, the kernel no. knows which IL ports to assign each. He took PCI ports. The kernel, that's not what the kernel knows. The kernel knows that you want access to the PCI bars of that device. It doesn't know what sections of the you have. Yes. Yeah. So you have to have to audit each. Yeah. Give you a card. Use the biggest card. Not bad. Okay. And, they, and they, they have a pretty small input service as far as from the memory. Right, so would that be a separate process you would talk to do the video load configuration? I think the thread stuff, stuff in you know, OPSD will, will let me do an app over a channel. And I can have that open the file descriptor, the files that I need, get file descriptor back, and then enter on that. And that's fine. Um, and that's, that can be a small, that can be an SQL email for one here. That's actually a lot easier than. I don't want to make success resource files mappable by X11 if I'm using KMS, right? So I need it only when I'm not using KMS, only when I'm using KMS. Okay. Well, it sounds like we have three issues. We need some way of flipping input to cut off. Mm -hmm. We need some way of flipping the ability to set front buffer. Do, uh, so which process group is allowed to allow the front buffer? Yeah, I think that's I think those are the same. Those are the same. Okay. Um, again, you want for multi C, you want C concept, and you want your C to have its own foreground and its set. But, yeah. But that's actually where Bob you can do this for a single C case first. Okay. Um, what was number three? Uh, the fixing up the SIG IOs, the signal spells for. Uh, yeah, display is something sensible. Yeah, tell me what tell me what your display number is. Let me know here. Yes. That was a pretty quick hack. I'm really sad that you were going to the next week. Come on, it's for you. Um that's, it seems like a reachable plan. What about what about using I mean, base FP or something that That's not. Phase has the FE dev problem. FE dev's monitor configuration code is atrociously bad. It has the, the only the fairest semblance of the CIE parts are. Phase FB is allowed, if I ask FE dev for a mode, it's allowed to give me something else back. That is completely legal. I think that that's bogus. I think that that's not something that I want to ship on any of my hardware ever. Well, we, we you base a KMS, sure. Base FB, no, no. Well, it would base a KMS be sufficient? It has to be like you base FB, where you call up to a user base helper to do the feed and that is a semi trap. But yeah, that would be fine. That, that seems like a pretty incredible plan. Doesn't take a lot of work. I just have to think. Yeah. I had. The only other problem with that is that right now we have the base at the base driver and using the user driver for base right now is pretty 
automatically crippled because the only way that I can run it as a fallback driver is by unloading the game as module. That's and if we had that's the only thing we could do. And, and if we had a KMS for Vesa kernel by you you a KMS driver, then you wouldn't have to unload another KMS driver. Yeah. Because you'd be using the KMS interfaces for your Vesa thing. I wouldn't know if I did yet. What? I wouldn't know if I can't know if I need it yet. And yeah, that's a boot time configuration. The whole the reason why people boot with no mode set is because the display fails to turn up. Which means it's far too late for you to switch the case. By that time, you have not bought enough of the card state that the that the BIOS invariants yeah. do not apply. That's true. You cannot post the damn thing. You can't post it. And the, after after boot, NVIDIA cards take the post vector and turn it into an IRAN. It does nothing. You call post after boot on a on a NVIDIA card and nothing will happen. It is a very, very fast way of getting in and out of real life. Why do they do that? Exactly. 